Wind is clearing hazy skies across our region today, but it could blow more of that unwanted smoke from north of the border down here later this week. Thanks for joining us. I'm Christina Gasford in for Darren. And I'm Kat Villians. Only 80 of the Canadian wildfires still burning north of the border, and they're, of course, sending that smoke south like we saw yesterday. Our Haley Morgan joins us live now. Haley, the dark skies right now behind you, not from smoke, though, right? Kat and Christina, as you can see behind me, the clouds are just regular storm clouds and it's definitely raining. Now there is no air quality threat as of right now, but we are expected to see uh, more throughout the summer and crews that are being sent to Canada to, to you know, wipe out those hot spots say they don't think the rain will end anytime soon. Over the weekend, the smoke from Canada filled the air all across the state of Vermont, especially in areas near the Northeast Kingdom and around Lake Champlain. The smoke made it very hard to see, and there was still an air quality alert Monday morning. By early afternoon, people were seeing clearer skies. But according to the Department of Environmental Conservation, the state could see another air quality alert later in the week. We're looking at Wednesday. There might be some wildfire smoke arriving in parts of New York and um, it could reach Vermont sometime late Wednesday or, in, or Thursday. So it's something that affects a lot of people beyond just beyond the people of Quebec, which obviously it affects, but even even here you can see it in the air. Chloe Sardonis was part of a mission that was sent to Canada through the Northeast Forest Fire Protection Compact. She, along with 13 other firefighters from Vermont, Maine, New Hampshire, and New York, were assigned to fires that had not been put out yet. She says being able to help Canada put out these fires was rewarding, but the experience was something she's never been through before. Well, driving in, it was like all of a sudden we could smell smoke so we knew we were close and then we got to the place where we parked and we all got directed to to a different part of the fire and then we just did did everything we could. Vermont's forest fire supervisor has already sent out two firefighters to help Canada combat the blaze. He expects five to six more crews will be sent to help clear the fires throughout the summer and he thinks Canada will see flames until the snow hits the ground in winter. So yes, they will probably, um, you know, they're getting them under control and concentrating on the areas near where people live. There's many of them that are farther north and less habit you know, areas with habitation where they just aren't going to be able to get to them for quite a while. Now, the Department of Environmental Conservation agrees that if the Canadian forests remain dry, we're going to see more wildfires and more smoke will be coming our way, depending on what the weather is like and where the wind is going. Kat and Christina. Haley, thank you.